Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a close up of the pins and where they're stuck at and what I there's one holding down the canopy as it glues. Use four right there in that area. No messy glue hanging off the sides. There's a couple more up under here. The red ones you can see there. Puncturing in, holding the fuse lodge connection to the front piece. Here's the ones I used on the wings. As you can see there's three there. Also what I've done is I've changed out the back servos there. As you can see, those are E-flight servos. I just changed them out just so I know they'll last a little longer. Most hobby shops sell these kind of pins in a different style, which are called T pins. But these are the ones the wife had laying around. There's tons of them, so hey, why not borrow a few of them? Now for the movement of the elevator and ailerons, I bought some more control horns here which I'm going to be using instead of the stock control horns that it comes with. They're a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and install those. Then we should be almost done with this build and ready to head over to the sack rat flying field. And see if we can make this bad boy scream up and down the intro planes made by Seed RC. Well we're back here as you can see I installed the cleavuses right there. They're all installed. Let's see if we can make this baby scream past the camera a few times. Let's head over to the Sack Rats flying field. Coming by for a little pass.
So, as you can see, we just got back from Sack Ratch Flying Field. Uh, it flew very nice. Just to let you know, I changed my expos on my ailerons and my elevator both to 50% travel. So, uh, it helped me fly very smooth. The plane was very stable. It's obviously, you can see it inside the sky. Uh, I'm just loving the orange color screen. This is the F-18E Tiger Scheme which can be bought at nitroplanes.com, made by Seeds RC. It's a great one to have in your collection, 64 millimeter EDF jet. Pick yours up.